Well, canine transplantation is really um, a, a, a way for us to try to cure or start curing canine lymphoma. Um, transplantation, bone marrow transplantation in people is a standard of care, and we've decided at this point that we should start uh, doing that in dogs also. Currently, bone marrow transplantation involves actually not taking bone marrow out of the bones themselves. It's uh, used with these machines called leukophoresis machines. And dogs um, and people are primed for five days with a specific cytokine that drives stem cells out of their bone marrow. And then we use those machines, those leukophoresis machines, to harvest those stem cells and then use those cells for transplanting patients. The dogs really have no effect um, from the procedure. Um, people complain of being cold. And so dogs, I would imagine, feel cold, so we use a lot of heat support to support them. But essentially, they just have a catheter in, the blood is taken out of their body, run through the machine, the cells are, cells are harvested, and then everything else is put back into the dog. So they actually don't lose uh, anything during the procedure besides body heat. All the current human transplant protocols were originally worked out in dogs. And so now the time has come where we can start giving back to dogs um, this technology. And so this has actually been done in humans for close to 30 years based on dog models. The procedure that we're doing um, and we're offering in a, in a clinical setting is very expensive. Um, this procedure in humans costs around $75,000 and we're offering it for much less, about one-fifth the price. In order to offset the price and make it more available for other people, we're trying to solicit companies and or in individuals to give philanthropic donations to the veterinary school to help clients pay for this procedure because it is expensive. This is the first university in the world, as far as I know, that has, uh, has decided to open a canine clinical bone marrow transplant unit. It's been done in private practice in Seattle for about two years. About nine dogs have been transplanted. Um, but this is the first academic institution to offer canine bone marrow transplantation in a clinical setting to treat canine lymphoma.